everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the guys at Comp Cams, and it's all about, you guessed it, camshafts. Now Comp offers cams for a variety of different engine families, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, and a lot of imports. But they also offer camshafts for specific applications. So whether you've got a normally aspirated, turbocharged, supercharged, or even nitrous combination, they've got camshafts designed specifically for you. But what happens if you start your project with, say, a normally aspirated motor, and you decide later on, hey, I want to add a turbo, blower, or nitrous. Do I need to change the camshaft to work with this new combination? Well, that's a common question, so let's check it out. Okay, so you started your project off by building a normally aspirated motor, and then sometime down the line, you decide, hey, I want to add a turbo, blower, or nitrous. Or maybe that was your idea from the very beginning but you just didn't have the resources to do it all at once. Regardless of the situation, the question now is, do I need a dedicated camshaft for that power adder combination? Well, the answer is both yes and no. You see, if you want to optimize the power output for that power adder combination, a dedicated camshaft is a good way to go. But the normally aspirated camshaft will also work. I mean, think about it this way. If you've got a good normally aspirated combination and you add a turbo, blower, or nitrous, it's just going to increase the power output. And even if you were going to get an extra 10, 20, or 30 horsepower from that dedicated camshaft, all you got to do is turn up the boost or increase the nitrous. But don't take my word for it. Check out these combinations where we ran a normally aspirated camshaft with power adders and everything worked great. Mild stock 5 liter with a Comp XE 274 cam. Offered good NA power gains, so we ran it with nitrous. Worked well with the Zex. Then we tried Boost. Worked great with Boost too. Next, a four valve Cobra motor with mild Comp cams that offered 50 horsepower gains. Then we ran under Boost. Plenty of power with turbos. Small block Chevy was next. With a big blower on top. Same results, big power. How about a twin turbo small block? The NA cam worked well. Okay guys, judging by the results, power outers were great, even with a normally aspirated camshaft. I mean, if you had a turbo, blower, or nitrous to an already powerful normally aspirated combination, that's a recipe for success. Now sure, if down the line you want even more power, you can add a dedicated camshaft. But know that even if you don't, your combination is going to work great and make plenty of power. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.